What is up, YouTube people? Eric here with Team Batman. Welcome guys back to another interview, and this time it's a, a little bit different. We're stepping away from uh, you know some of the fellow DBZ players in the community. Instead, I'm interviewing one of my absolute favorite YouTubers in the moment. You know him, you love him, Shady Penguin. How's it going, man? How are you doing, dude? Doing great. Doing great. Uh, we're here at Aeon Gaming, which is uh, Shady's gaming shop that he owns. And I have to admit, it's a really nice place. Thank you. No, it's, it's, it's come a long way. If you would have seen what it looked like prior to us opening, it was literally a warehouse with a trailer in it, two trailers, oh, a tire, and then just garbage everywhere. Oh, wow. A long way. So, yeah, most definitely has. So, uh, you know, of course, as we know you, you are, you know, a big deal YouTuber. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> big, big I would deal. never say that, but okay, I'm going <laughs> to let you run with it. I'm going to let you run with it. But yes, you, uh, you are a YouTuber, you're a Poketuber specifically, so yes. of course you play a lot of Pokemon. Um, where did that come from? When did you start kind of getting into streaming? It was just, uh, just kind of, oh, I'll do this one day, and it became a big thing. Yeah, it was kind of like just, uh, I was watching a lot of people play Pokemon on YouTube, yeah. and at the time I was working like 70 hours a week in a supermarket, so I was doing a lot of, yeah, doing a lot of work, and I needed something to kind of keep me sane, yeah. and I was like, you know what, I'm watching these people, let me just try it. So I tried it, some of my first videos are still up on YouTube, they're really dreadful. <laughs> I advise you don't watch them. Uh, but eventually, it, I mean, it was just the thing that I enjoyed. Strictly a hobby. I would upload two videos a day just because I loved it. Yeah. And uh, it was. It, it's funny. I, I would. I would record in the morning before work. I'd hit render. I'd come home and upload. And you, you know, since you upload videos, yeah. you gotta get that render time in. And exactly. I was working with a potato at the time, so it took like <laughs> nine hours to render a twenty-minute video. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just eventually snowballed into something really great that I could not be more grateful for. Exactly. Me. Look, you know. You're at almost what 400,000 subscribers? Yeah, I think so. right. I think right now it's around somewhere around three above 360. Somewhere I'm not exactly sure the exact number. Maybe 370, but I'm really not sure. So, yeah, so that you know that's a huge deal, and you're you're basically making a living off of that. Now, yes. Correct? Yeah. It's my full time full time gig is that, uh, and it really allowed me to open up Aeon because uh, I was able to join partners with with uh, my good my good friend Mike, and he kind of takes care of running the store, and I can I have enough time in the week to still record content, upload, yeah. keep my full-time job so that, that's really awesome you know you mentioned that you know this was kind of an idea that you've now got the time to do so uh, where'd the idea to create a game shop come from well basically it's funny funny enough when I started YouTube around the same time probably a little bit before that we were going to a local car shop on the island and I really wanted to open up my own car shop I was like you know what? I want my own shop I want my own shop and I was like, I, could, I know I can do things better. Not that like, it was a bad place, but like, I know I can do things better. Uh, I, 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 there are things that I want to be able to do, and just creating your own store is really is something that I had a dream of, basically, since then. Um, and then, of course, as I started to do YouTube more and more, I, uh, I gravitated more towards video games. I still always play trading card games. But, yeah. And then this ended up being a thing where I was like, you know what, maybe I should just open up a video game shop because I had built this community over three years online around video games. Yeah. So why not put a physical manifestation of that community and hope that the shady people can come together and come here. So basically, it's, it's kind of just where it's heard from. I can completely understand that, you know, being able to build that community on YouTube is, you know, probably just an absolute huge help for getting to kind of establish everything. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, without the shady people, without my community specifically, this never, ever would have happened because we actually had a Kickstarter um, and they came through with mind-blowing support. So I will never say anything less than they are the only reason why this place even exists, like why I even have a chance at this second dream of mine. And that, that's the sign of a good community, so that's exactly what you want. So, um... You know, you guys do uh, a lot of primarily Smash gaming here, a lot of the fighting stuff. I know you guys do a uh, Pokemon tournament yep. and whatnot. Do you guys have any plans to do uh, like uh, non-fighting games, I guess? Yes. So actually, we just started doing um, a format that my friend created for Yu-Gi-Oh! Actually, I should say my partner created, Yu-Gi-Oh! Where we play 2011 Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, the, the best version of Yu-Gi-Oh! The saying. best! The best version <laughs> of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, so we do have intentions of, of doing a trading card game. It's still a deep love of mine, deep passion of mine, trading card games. So we want to bring that in. And then as far as other games, besides fighting games, we definitely have an interest in more trading card games, like mm -hmm. Hearthstone. Um, but we need, we need computer rigs for that. So basically we're yeah. trying to pay off any debt that we have right now mm -hmm. before we go ahead and get ourselves into more trouble. Because I'm a firm believer in Hey, like not being in debt, I, it makes my skin crawl that we are, but it's what we had to do. Um, so yes, we definitely have plans to expand. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not too bad. The debt you're speaking. Of. Oh yeah, no, no. It's, I mean, it's nothing. The way that Aeon's running right now, we should be uh, we should be crystal clear within a year, one hundred percent. So wow, it's really right it's, a, it's a pretty solid turnaround for sure. Not 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 stressed about it as long as like I mean, you guys see, there's like there's like forty people in here right now. Yeah. We have numbers like that. We're good to go. 
So that that's absolutely fantastic. So uh, so I asked Face this. I've already done an interview with Face, which may or may not be up. We'll see about that. But um, I asked him, you know, you guys are relatively new. You started about a month ago or so. Um, if you had to envision yourself in, in a year, say a year from now, you know, uh, where would you like to be? You know, would you like to expand out of the space? Would you like to host, like, uh, regional events? Uh, you know, expand out and do, you know, like, big-time streaming events and yeah. stuff? So I would definitely say that I see us... Holding at least holding a minimum one regional uh, by within a year. I actually we're actually planning on hosting a 64 man, so a little bit of a minor 64 okay. man uh, registration. So not nothing nothing too crazy. We want to work with, so we're gonna start 64 man probably within the next month. We want to give it a go. Okay. And then 120 man maybe a couple months down the road, and then see where we take from there. Uh, we we would love to host like a major where we rent out a hotel and do the whole ballroom thing. Like that's awesome. we definitely want to do that. Throw Anne's name a little bit. So in a year, I will say that we would definitely. We'll, 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 have, we'll be hosting at least one region for sure. So that'll, that'll be really big. That's yeah. going to be you know, something that I imagine you're going to be pushing on the channel a lot. Yeah. Is, uh, is that still, is that your like primary source of publicity and whatnot is going through the Shady Kingdom channel? Yes and no. So, I mean, I update my viewers about, about whatever's going on in my life. And of course, that includes Aeon uh, during random videos. But uh, what I've tried to do is kind of try to integrate both my Twitter and the Aeon Gaming Twitter. So I'm trying to get a lot of traction to the Aeon Gaming Twitter specifically and the Aeon Gaming Facebook page. Yeah. So I'll of course always plug when we have a big event, I'll have no problem just giving a shout out and stuff, but I really want AM to be its own thing that can live without me. Like God forbid either something happens to me or I get too stressed out and I, I, I can't handle it, whatever it may be, and then say my partner just takes it. I want it I want to create something not for me but for the community. So it's very important that it becomes its own entity and that it can stand on its own advertising feed. But I'll always even even if I'm not a part of it, I'll always want to plug the events that happen. Exactly, because you know you've been such a part of it. Here. Yeah, you know, you mentioned stress and whatnot, and speaking of stress, you're getting married, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. I say you're getting married. What? Uh, September? Yes, yeah, September. It's from today. It's less than, or it's around. No, it's less than sixty days. Less than sixty days. Ooh, I know. So it's getting close. Congratulations! It's gonna be huge. Yeah, so, I appreciate uh, it. So, uh, how does your fiance now feel about you know uh, the whole thing? She is the most supportive human being in the entire world, 100%. Whether I come home and I'm like, I can't, I can't handle this. There was pizza on a chair, or or <laughs> things are great, and she's either way, she completely supports what I do. I would never, uh, as much as I credit the shady people to this actual business, mm -hmm. my sanity, 100%, is in her hands. Like, I would not, not be able to handle this. The channel streaming, uh, relationships, family stuff, like it's just. It, the course of life, at least my course of life, uh, pace I should say, definitely requires a partner. She's the best one, 100%. So you, you can't ask for better than that at all. So uh, you know, you mentioned streaming and whatnot, and you've been getting a, you've been getting back to streaming a lot on your channel. Yes. You know, you've been uh, updating with new stuff. You did uh, the Theta Emerald Shady Lock. Yeah, you're doing a Pokemon Platinum one. Yep. Uh, you, you know, blind battles back and whatnot. Uh, do you have any plans for like new series, new stuff on the channel, or is it uh, you know, have you already recorded some new stuff, or what you got in mind? Um, I've recorded a little bit of Xenoverse. So Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 is coming out in the fall, and I really yes, want to yes. play through the first one, just because it's, why not, like, why not yeah. play through the first one and see what they're actually going to change things, because there was so much in Xenoverse 1 already, yeah. that it's like, what are they going to add, what are they going to do? Yeah, so, uh, I do uh, I do have intention of starting to upload that once I finish up Fire Emblem, because a lot of my fans really want me to finish up Fire Emblem, and I'm a little bit behind on that, but I don't want to start any new series until that's done, Yeah. so uh, time management's definitely been tough with um, trying to get the streams running at Aeon, yeah. uh, it's taking a lot of my time, but... Between that, I still have intentions of doing Twilight Princess, um, and I picked up a game in New York City. I can't remember what it's called now, but it was released on the 3DS and apparently also released on Windows. But it's like it's all decision based and it's all heavily story driven. Uh, it looks like one of those point click adventures. I'm, I okay. no idea. Something gate, something time. I don't know. Whatever. But I do plan on yeah. doing that in the chat. <laughs> whatever. It's, it's good. It looks really insane. Basically, it says something about like these six people are going to get killed if I don't make the right decisions, and it's it's pretty dark. It's pretty dark. That, so that's I'm, dark. Man. I'm excited. For that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, you know, of course, being a Dragon Ball Z affiliate channel, you know, we're super excited about Xenoverse 2 and whatnot. Uh, definitely looking forward to that one. You know, if there's you know, any way we can help support that, we'd absolutely love to. That'd be cool. So, um, absolutely. Uh, one last thing, because I don't want to keep it too long. I know you're really busy here and whatnot. <laughs> uh, one last thing, you know, you are you know, a relatively successful YouTuber. This is now your living. Uh, for anyone out there, you know, who's watching our YouTube channel, you know, knows about you and whatnot, uh, what do you have, you know, as advice for kind of getting into the YouTube space, you know, trying to make it into something. Okay, so I think the biggest thing, kind of like I shared 
in my story was that it really was a hobby until it snowballed. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm a firm believer that with enough hard work and dedication, you can make anything happen. But I also think that like it might be it might be shorter for some people and it might be longer. Like for some people, like for me, it just happened. Uh, I was uploading for probably like nine or ten months, and then it just the new Pokemon game came out, and I caught Quinn. Yeah. Um, sometimes you just you need that little break. But I would say no matter what you're choosing to upload, make sure you're passionate about it. Make sure that it's your passion. Because when you start building a fan base, um, you'll notice that you're building a fan base between both whatever your topic is, whether it's a game, a show, what have you, and yourself. But a majority of people are going to come to your channel for that topic. Like for me, a lot of people came for Pokemon and not for Shady. Like, yeah. So it takes time to differentiate that fan base and then if you ever want to branch out. So choose something you love because you're probably going to do a lot of it. Uh, and don't get dismayed if you ever see people um, pass you up faster because that's definitely been a problem with a lot of my friends that I've seen happen. And they get very discouraged and you can't because at the end of the day, if you're doing it for you, of course you want to make something out of it. And of course I wanted to, like, I never expect, I can't even say that I wanted to, I never expected it. I was literally just uploading, so it's mind blowing that it happened. But I've known people that work towards that and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with working towards wanting to make it uh, a full-time job or dream job, career, whatever you want to label it. Um, but ultimately, your time will come if you put in the passion, like if you put in the work. Absolutely. Absolutely great advice. You know, I know there are a lot of guys out there, you know, who we're friends with who do very much the same thing. And, you know, I, I think it's very much the sky's the limit. It's just all the work that you want to put in. Yep, definitely. Absolutely. It's awesome. Thank you so much for letting us in. And thank you guys so much for watching our interview with Shady Penguin. If you guys liked it, be sure to click the like button. If not, click that dislike button down below and let us know what you didn't like so we can fix it for, you know, future interviews and videos and whatnot. Because we don't like dislikes, do we? No, we don't like them. Not at all. We want to see happy thumbs. Always, always happy thumbs. Uh, also, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below so you can follow this series and all of our other series. We've got a lot of stuff going on in uh, the near future. You know, we're going to have a bunch more DBC games. Uh, when Sun and Moon come out, we're going to cover some of that. So there's going to be a lot going on. Uh, so be sure to track all of that. And lastly, if you haven't found us on social media, all of our links are down below. So you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and whatnot. So be sure to check all this out and come say, hey, we'd love to interact with you guys. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. And once again, thanks so much to Shady Pink for letting us be huge fans anytime. Uh, and like always, guys, stay bad. We'll see you guys next time. Catch you later.